Hello, my dear children. How are you all? Ramadan Karim to all of you. Today we will continue the chapter, chapter 2, Animal Life. Before we move to the next topic, let's see what we learned in the last class. In the last class, we were discussing about the adaptations in breathing in animals and adaptation in feeding habit. In breathing, we discussed about lungs, spiracles, gills, moist skin. In feeding habits, we were discussing about herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, scavenger. Then we discussed about some special feeding habits. In this class, we are going to discuss about the adaptations in body coverings. Different animals have different body coverings according to the habitat they live in. The first type is scales, then shells, then hair or fur, then feathers. These are the different types of body coverings in animals. We will start with the scales. Fish, snakes and lizards are some animals with scales on their outer body surface. The scales of fish are overlapping and waterproof. The scales of snakes and lizards are leathery, preventing water loss from their bodies. Coming to shells, the bodies of turtles, snails and tortoise are covered with hard shells that protect their soft bodies. It is a common sight to see a snail withdrawing its feet and head into its shell when in danger. The animals which have hard shells, what they will do when the enemies are coming for attacking them, their body they will withdraw into the body coverings. So because of this hard shell that enemies cannot attack them. So they themselves hide inside their hard shell. Coming to hair or fur. The bodies of mammals such as dogs, cats, polar bears and sheep are covered with hair or fur. The fur keeps them warm. In very cold places, animals such as polar bears and yaks have a thick fur. In hot places, animals such as camels have very less hair. On human body also we have hair but we have less hair. That's why during winter time we will feel more cold so that what we will do, we will wear woolen clothes to control that cold. Coming to the case of feathers, the bodies of birds are covered with feathers. The feathers on the wings help them to fly. Some feathers help to keep them warm. Let's solve the checkpoint on page number 26. Give an example for the following. Herbivore, cow, rodent, squirrel, carnivore, tiger, scavenger, hyena. There is a fact file on page number 27. Why are spiders not called insects? This is because the spider's body is divided into two main parts. But an insect's body has three parts. A spider has eight legs but an insect has six. Most insects have wings and antenna but spiders do not. That's why spiders are not called insects. Let's see some other features. The first one is migration. Animals such as whales, eels and birds travel long distances every year to escape the extreme cold weather to give birth to their young ones or in search of food. They return to their original homes when the environmental conditions become favorable. This long journey in animal is called migration. The Arctic tern migrates every winter from the Arctic region to the Antarctic region where it is summer at that time. It makes the longest migration. Eels swim from fresh water to the salt water of the seas to lay eggs. Locusts are migratory insects. They move in huge swans 
from one place to another to feed themselves. Siberian cranes come to India every year in winter and return to Siberia during summer. Migratory animals find their way by orienting themselves with the help of the sun and stars. Some use landforms such as river, valleys, mountain, ranges and coasts. The next one that is hibernation. Some animals become inactive during the winter months. They sleep for a long period of time in underground burrows or caves. This is called hibernation. This habit helps animals to conserve energy when sufficient food is not available during the harsh weather conditions. Animals use the fat stored in their bodies to get the energy required to survive during the period of inactivity. Whales, frogs, snails are some animals that hibernate. Coming to estivation, some desert animals become inactive during the summer months when water becomes scarce. Such summer inactivity in animals is called estivation. Let's solve exercise. We will start with the first set. Take the correct option. The first question Snakes move with the help of C. Broad plates. The second question The mouth part of a butterfly is called B. Proboscis. Third question Air holes are found in B. Insects. Fourth question An example of a rodent is a squirrel. Fifth question. Feathers are the body coverings of C. Birds. Sixth question. An insect that migrate B. Locust. Coming to the second set of exercise. True or false. The first question. All birds can fly in air. That is false. You learned about flightless bird like emu in your lower classes. Second question. Birds such as vultures have hoop beaks for tearing flesh. That is true. Third question. Like birds, insects have powerful muscles attached to their wings. That is false. Fourth question. Prawns breathe by means of air tubes. That is False. They breathe through gills. Fifth question. Gills of fish have a rich supply of blood. That is true. Sixth question. All insects have wings. That is false. You learned about wingless insects. Example, silverfish. Seven. Birds migrate to avoid unfavorable weather condition. That is true. This is called migration. Eighth one, mammals breathe through spiracles. That is, fawns. Mammals breathe through lungs. Girls, hope you all understood about today's topic. This is the time for homework. You have to do the chapter exercise A and B in the textbook. Thank you. Have a nice day.